Hello and welcome to the sixth lecture of our semantic topical map course. I have a really cool announcement to make and that is the official course launch of my ChatGPT courses. You can grab the bundle of our advanced ChatGPT course plus the copywriting ChatGPT course for $199. This offer is also available to existing students who have previously purchased the advanced ChatGPT course. You will get automatically access to the copywriting course so that as an existing buyer, you already looked after as well. So what's included in this bundle? That's the advanced ChatGPT and then the ChatGPT for copywriters. The idea of the copywriting course is that you can train up a new copywriter very quickly on ChatGPT by giving them access to this course and because I'm an agency owner myself and I use ChatGPT on a daily basis, I needed to train up my copywriting team in order to basically speed up their research and their writing progress. And that's the idea behind this course that you can give this to a team member um, or if you're a blogger yourself, you will get up to speed on how to write articles more effectively and in a way that Google actually wants you to write them. Let's jump in here what's included in the course. Uh, you get a prompts library, which is the heart of the course, which are prompts that you can copy and paste. These have taken me many hours to create and produce. And you can simply make a copy of these prompts and then use them for yourself. Uh, you see the plugins that I use. Every plugin is specifically um, uh, displayed and explained of how to use that plugin in the best way and how to install them, uh, how to research facts for articles. Very important. Google wants us to write factual articles. And if you use ChatGPT just out of the box, that is not happening, right? So you need to actually do the work, have the correct prompts in order to enable factual writing with ChatGPT. Both courses will be updated frequently and the price is going to increase. Uh, to this course, I am about to add a competing article comparison prompt so that you can take your article and say, hey, what's different in my article compared to the top competitors? How can I improve my article? And that's going to be added very shortly. Now, this is the copywriting course. Let's hop into the advanced um, SEO course. Um, so we talk about passing AI detection, the right way to use AI, uh, we've got an advanced way to generate article outlines based on competitors. And uh, then we talk about uh, topical maps prompts uh, using ChatGPT. Uh, how to determine the topical expertise of your competitors. What topics are they writing about? Why does Google think that they have topical authority? There's prompts included for that. And then we also have local SEO. You learn how to create a moving guide for local SEO and we build medical service pages. Um, these would be money pages, if you will. Um, and we look at how we can build them in a way that they match the search intent. And you will also learn how to write press releases with ChatGPT pretty much on autopilot. And press releases can have very strict guidelines on what you can and can't do. And the prompts are tailored, so you will pass the press release uh, uh, checks. Uh, some cool bookmarks and Chrome extensions. You will learn how to code Chrome extensions yourself um, and how to write and fix schema markup with ChatGPT. Um, just this hack alone will save you a lot of time. If you've ever written a schema by hand, you know that this can take a long time. And with this method, method you can really speed up the process. Um, there's also Chrome extensions for uh, download included, which you can use um, in your own Chrome browser. And the next add-ons to this course will be about Python scripts. Now, in the following of this video, I will go through some of the Python script examples and how they can be used for your topical map. Now, let's dive into the script here. This is a SERP similarity analysis script. It's built on Google Colab and you can get access to the script as well. So that's Google Colab. If you have not heard about that, uh, I believe it's colab.google.com if you want to check it out. But there will be a link um, in my Facebook group. Um, so you have to join the Facebook group. That's step one. 
that's in the comments of this video. And then step two is going to be uh, to open the link, which will bring you to Google Colab and make a copy of the script. So this is so that you can edit the script and make it yours. You will also grab a free key from value SERP, but I will put more um, descriptions into the Facebook group. And the idea behind the group is that we can build together uh, scripts with ChatGPT or if you're a Python coder yourself, um, and we build these scripts together to improve them and make our SEO workflow easier. And this is the first script here that I would like to share with you. So in our topical map process, why do we care about this SERP similarity tool? Well, the thing is that we need to figure out uh, what Google has predetermined as the search intent per search result. So there is a search intent for search results, which is predetermined by Google. So Google basically decides that um, partly based on their user data, um, partly based on their semantic um, algorithm and knowledge graph. But then there's also another search intent which comes from the user. So what's th what does the user want behind that? Why has the user typed that keyword in? Um, that's another search intent. And that has directly to do with Google's query expansion as well. But uh, we won't cover in that too deeply now. Let's jump into how you can use this tool. So the idea behind the tool is that you can look at the search results next to each other in a graphical way. So here we've looked at the keyword commercial lawyer in Sydney and commercial lawyer is the plural. Um, here you can see the S and you can see that the search results are quite different. For the plural, the lawyer.com.au has moved up from, let's say, position six up to the number one spot. We now have best lawyers, which is a directory as well, also coming into the SERPs. So that's quite interesting that just a single S here at the end has completely reshuffled the um, search results. So the idea now is that with this tool, once you use it, you can click on these icons to also show you the page titles so that then you know uh, what kind of page titles you need to use in order to win this keyword, for example. We also assume that these keywords have roughly similar search intents so that we have an actually hard decision here to decide, right, which keyword do we want to target and what should be the main keyword that we optimize for. And this tool gives you a really quick way to decide on that. Um, at the moment, let's just keep in mind that this site here, the red one, Owen Hodge, is in the number one spot. And each site is assigned a color, as you can see here. Purple is always lawyer.com.au, for example. So Owen Hodge is doing quite well. However, when it comes here to the corporate lawyer, uh, Sydney, uh, Owen Hodge is not at all inside of those um, results. Let's have a look at another script, which is um, showing us the title tags. And in here as well, it's Owen Hodge in red. So we can see Owen Hodge is ranking for commercial lawyer by having commercial lawyer Sydney at the beginning of his page. But even though he used the plural with an S here at the end, he has not been able to win the plural search result. He's actually ranking number two. And Google seems to really like the best type of listing style for that because lawyers, the plural indicates to Google per, per the predefined search intent that somebody is looking for multiple. Therefore, a directory would be the best fit. So then you can think to yourself, well, should I really optimize my page for the singular or the plural version? And that definitely matters uh, based on what the search volume is um, and also whether you think you can beat the number one guy there, for example. Cool. And the idea behind this script also is that we look at multiple different keyword variations to see what different competitors are coming up here. So for corporate lawyer, we can see there's quite a few different ones uh, in there in the search results. So this is more of a jobs uh, type of query where you can see there's uh, salaries um, in there and then also corporate lawyer jobs. So just changing the word from commercial to corporate makes a huge difference to the actual search results. And you now have a way to compare that and then decide what the best uh, query is to, to rank for. 
And now once we go to commercial law firm, this is again where the, uh, I believe, Owen, Owen Hodge website is coming up and ranking number one and two for that. So this tells us that the uh, law firm and lawyer keyword seems to be synonyms because the other keyword was commercial law firm. And now we have uh, commercial lawyer that we previously looked at. All right, how about business lawyer? Is that a keyword that we can win? We can see here that Owen Hodge um, has not been able to win business lawyer because he's again optimized for commercial lawyer. So that's something for you to consider later on when you're looking at your own keywords. Uh, which keyword do you want to give up? Sometimes you cannot win all the keywords um, because it's hard to tune your page perfectly for multiple keywords. And you may also have keyword cannibalization issues if you try to create two different pages. So if you create one page for Business Lawyer Sydney and one for Commercial Lawyer Sydney, uh, Google might struggle to find out which page to rank for what, and you could run into keyword cannibalization issues there. Plus you need links to both pages um, as well as internal links. So these are usually the limiting factors why we decide to um, pick one keyword and potentially not the other. Another theory that goes into this is that uh, the average rank of your website actually matters. We have seen that in the Yandex ranking factors that part of the ranking factors was your average rank. So in other words, if you choose the keywords incorrectly and you're trying to optimize for both, but you're not winning either of the keywords, that affects negatively on other pages as well because your average rank of the website is now lower and therefore your website is going to be downrated overall. So picking the right keywords um, and tuning your pages correctly uh, makes a huge difference there. All right, I hope you will really enjoy this script. Uh, as mentioned, um, this will be part of the ChatGPT course, but if you join the Facebook group, uh, you can also get uh, your hands on this script. And let's improve this script further. I definitely don't have all the time in the world to work on these scripts by myself, so I invite you to uh, join me. This is completely open source. You can see the programming code and you can ask ChatGPT to improve the script, make changes to it um, and hopefully improve it. So I look forward to seeing you in the Facebook group um, or in my ChatGPT course. Thank you guys.